Hi guys, this is Pestilian. Welcome to the Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering the shoreline map, the spawns, extract, scav boss, how many people spawn in there, all the keys, all the good stuff you guys want to know. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So first up, Shoreline map is one of the bigger maps in the game. It's a lot more sporadic and open up. There is the major loot area in the middle being the resort where a lot of the focus goes down on this map. But recently there was a scav boss added to this map called Sanitar and he spawns down at the cottages and also the, the pier. So uh, he can be at the resort as well. Um, so it does bring some of the action away from that resort. However, there is a lot of value to be made in that resort. So it's one of the loot runs that I usually tell people when they're newer to the game, that if you can get your hands on a couple of the keys, you can make a lot of money in resort. Now, Shoreline does have 14 players that will spawn in there. So it, it can be quite chaotic when everyone's running into the resort. So key priority is actually up to, up to you, but I've got a screenshot of all the keys that I have uh, when I go into the map. And it, it's a personal preference on which ones you want to take. I try and take as many good keys for each of the east and west wing as possible. And then I also take in the cottage key with the cottage safe key. And you'll see the other keys are just labeled as safe. They're the ones from the uh, the resort management office too. There's two safes in there and the safe 321 key. All those safes that really do add a lot of value to this map as well. Because if the rooms are looted, you can get the safes as well. And it just gives you that little bit of extra top up. And then because you're taking in a sick case or you've got a container, um, some of those items you can just chuck in the case as well. You don't really need to take in all these keys, particularly if you're only going to focus on one thing like the resort. Um, you don't really need the cottage keys and stuff like that. Um, there is a key missing being the HEP S key, which is for the middle of the map. And uh, that's the one where the, the power station is. And there is an intelligence spawn in that in there, which people you know like to go farm as well. So um, there's just a lot of keys for this map. You probably could take a key tool in and then split some of these keys up and then you got the rest of the sick case for actual um, looting as well. I won't waffle on any longer. So um, if you are interested in finding out all the ins and outs of this map, we're about to do a little bit of a walk around the map. So if you uh, have this up on your second monitor or on your phone, it will be really helpful if you jump in an offline raid and then you can follow me around and learn the map as well at the same time. Um, so if you're newer to the map, it will really give you some more bearing and uh, you actually will know, hopefully by the end of it, where you can go and what you can get in each location. So uh, yeah, let's get into that. All right, and welcome to Shoreline. There is going to be a lot to cover in this and I want to try and make it as zippy as possible. So um, yeah, buckle in. So you should have this up on your second monitor and you should be able to find the village right here. There's spawns along the backside here, all along the edge, pretty much the entire edge all the way down there are spawns and there's a couple in. Now this is the swamp area. I'm not going to go through each of the houses and the hidden stashes. There are 37 hidden stashes on shoreline last time I counted. Um, and I'm just going to show from just the high ground here some of the areas you should be checking. Now, there's stashes all throughout this area, but the church has a, um, a big box in it. There's a house up on the uh, other side there, that house on the far side there. That one has a body in it that um, you can search, which is pretty good. And this greenhouse right in front of me is actually a really good spot for uh, getting a lot of your barter trade items and loot. So... There's going to be, um, there's going to be a lot to cover. So I'm going to try and do this, like I said, as quickly as possible. So in here, jacket on the side here. I've got to make sure we're on the, there we go. Uh, on the shelves and on the sides here, all barter trades. On the bed here, uh, barter trades. On the shelf here, look at that car battery in that. And then the uh, toolbox. Now we're going to run along here. Like I said, I'm not going to show all the little hidden stashes and that. There, there is a separate video for that, and it'll go into much more detail in those videos for where all these hidden stashes are and all that. I want to try and give you the best layer of this map and, and just things, the tips and tricks and all that. So, uh, as a newer player, so from the swamp, uh, you can run directly up to the resort, which is up in that direction. Um, or you, if you're newer, you probably should be avoiding the resort until you have some keys, and then you should be heading down to this village. Now, inside all these houses. Um, are pretty much jackets in every single house. Jackets can have any key in the game. Um, there are, I think, 19 jackets. It's either 19 or 17 jackets in this whole area. Um, so what I would suggest, um, there are like one jacket in each of these buildings on this side, and I think there's one over here. But just from this side, hidden stash there. I just want to show you the potential of this one little spot. Hidden stash there. And then you pretty much just want to go down this way. Um, inside here, 
jacket behind this door, jacket on this side of the door, and two jackets right there. There's also a duffel bag in there, and there's all barter trades throughout this area too. Then you run across here, and I'm probably going to miss one because I'm, you know, going to try and do this quickly. But you jump across here. There's two jackets right here. You come around this side. Um, there's the, the box there to loot. Jacket right here. Two more jackets in here. And you guys are starting to get the idea of like just how nutty it can be. Particularly early wipe when you're farming keys. Um, med box inside that uh, building right there. And uh, two more jackets and three duffel bags in here. Two on the bottom floor and one upstairs. I actually have a feeling. I'm going to check because I'm pretty sure there is. I'm pretty sure there's a jacket in here too. Right there too. Yep, jacket. Now, um, that's pretty much the village. Now, I'm going to run... I want to kind of keep it somewhat methodical and, and, and how I explain this map. So, if we were to follow that road down or the, the cliff face down, that would go to the first extract for spawning on the other side of the map. Or the main extract for this morning, if you spawn on the other side of the map, being, um... Wait, why did I get tunnel extract? That is tunnel right there, and I spawned on this one on this side of the map. Maybe because it's an offline mode thing? I don't know. But anyway, that is tunnel extract right there. Uh, so you go, you can either go in that spot there, or you can run along the side there to extract. Um, there are a few, like, other little spawns of stuff around there, but nothing too crazy. This is called Scav Island. That shack right there... Has um, two med bags in there. There's two weapon crates in that building there. There's two, a weapon crate inside there. And there's a big box in the middle. Um, if you go out there, you have to take this um, ship on the way out. And if you fight scavs out there, uh, it's called Scav Island. But if you fight scavs out there, you're going to run into a lot of trouble. It's just one of those places that is uh, a lot of trouble. Because as soon as you start shooting out there, people know that you're out there and they're going to try and trap you. All right, I'm going to click my fingers and we're going to zoom straight ahead. Because I don't want to uh, waste any of your time just on the running simulator parts of this map. All right, so now we're at the uh, the cottages. With the cottages, um, the new scab boss spawns here, Sanitar. And uh, he could spawn in any of like this area. So from there's like four little, technically three little compounds. So this one here, that one over there, and then there's the one bigger one on that side. Um, inside each of these cottages, there are... Well, there's two jackets here, but upstairs there's two safes and a, and a gun, gun cabinet. So a gun cabinet... Computer, um, safe there, and then a safe on here. And then on uh, this side here, watch out for a key spawn here. And there's the duffel bag down there. And then the uh, over onto this side, this is the um, the locked cottage, right? So the actual key spawns right on top of that barrel. And uh, you need a locked the cottage key to get inside this one. And then you need the cottage safe key to get into the actual safe upstairs. There's two safes upstairs. One needs a key, one doesn't. So there's an AK spawn on the table. You come up here. Um, the weapon cabinet there. This is the safe you don't have to unlock. And then this is the safe you do have to unlock. So cottage safe key for the top one, cottage key for the bottom. Now, if you're done with uh, that area, I'm going to run down to the pier next. This uh, next area of the pier is uh, pretty much in a straight line. If you look at that big rock over there, it's in a straight line across there. To give you reference points so you know where you are, so um, tell you where at this bus shelter here. That's the tunnel extract and, and all the village over there. We've got the cottage here. If we went straight up this road, that would take us to the bus depot and the resorts behind it. And then on this side, we've got the power station. If I followed that road down to the power station and then the, uh, the gas station's down there and that's where we're going to head now. So um, I'm going to run directly in a straight line this way and... I don't know, Frankie or Brit will put in like a thousand times and uh, will appear over there. All right, and now we're over at the uh, bus depot. So for, sorry, not bus, the gas station. Now for the gas station, there is um, a few ways you can get in there without taking lots of damage from the fire. Um, they have changed it a few times. So to my understanding, do I have meds on me? I do. Hopefully I don't stuff this. But to my understanding, if you go around the left-hand side now, you get absolutely fucked up. But if you were to jump across that bit, um, you sprint and you jump over that bit right there. And then you go in there, you don't take any damage. And then I think on the way out, you take a little tiny bit of damage. Um, test it in your own time, if you want to or not. 
Uh, there's a safe right there, and there's three weapon crates. Oh, two weapon crates. They removed one. Um, two weapon crates down there. Scavs do spawn here frequently, and if you're after scavs, um, I always say go bus depot, sorry, gas station, power station, bus depot, or vice versa. So it's the best way, I think, of getting scav kills. Um, you run the center line, and then you extract. Now, uh, for your next extract being the uh, pier boat. Well, you see that boat located right there? That is the pier boat. Um, so you go down there, you run down that the little pier there and down to the end. You'll be able to extract. There used to be a flashing light to say that it was there. It kind of doesn't flash anymore, so who knows anymore. Um, there's a key spawn on the ground, and, and these filing cabinets, including the one laying down, are lootable. Uh, going upstairs, there is the uh, safe and computer in each of these ends. So, safe and computer, safe and uh, computer. Little, uh, I don't know, Easter egg, I guess. I don't know why there's ever been two toilets that close to each other ever, but two toilets. And, uh, yeah, so you can go down to the tower at the end. Nothing too crazy there. Um, the boat used to also not appear when the wasn't when you weren't able to loop like extract from there but the only way to know these days is you just run there and see if it lets you extract or not um but that's not always available and that's available to both sides if you spawn anywhere on this map you can you can have a chance to be able to extract there from either side all right what we're going to do from here um i want to show it from this side but um there's a like a compound down here that you can spawn in and uh, most people will either run straight up to the resort or come across to the, the gas station. But there are later in the raid, scavs do spawn down that in that compound, so it's actually not too bad. And if you follow this road all the way up, um, there's the it's not RUAF, but there's an extract down there if the light's on. Um, it's right down the very end. Don't go past it. There's mines, and you'll uh, blow up. I will show that uh, in more detail later on, but just to give you perspective in which direction. All right, so you can see the outline of the power station directly in front of us um, being that straight line across there and the resort behind it. I'm just going to run straight up and we'll get to the power station now. So let's uh, speed up that. All right, and now we're at the um, the power station. So the power stations, uh, it's one of those ones where you'll, you'll, have, you'll run into a lot of players. The sniper scav spawns up the top and the cool thing I do is I sit back here and I watch where the sniper scav shoots, and then you'll know there's a player there. So, if you're doing a task like Shooter Born in Heaven, which is 100 meter headshots, it's actually really good for that. Uh, inside, you can come through here, and uh, there's a key spawn on the chair there. There's the two jackets, and there's a duffel bag down the back here, as well as a uh, reserve key spawn on one of these shells. I've never found that key there myself. Um, a new key that's been added to the game... I'm fairly confident it's from the Jaeger ta task. I'll have it come up on the screen to know exactly where, but um, the he Hep S key, it's called. Uh, the Hep, Hep, Hep Station storage key. So you can unlock either side. You come in here. There's a heap of weapon parts spawns uh, and, the, and the weapon crates. So suppressors and that, and also an Intel spawn underneath. So originally I didn't think it was that good of a key, and then it, I started finding out more and more that you actually can make a fair bit of money from it. So... Definitely worth going in there if you've got the key. Um, outside the uh, power station is not too anything too crazy, but you might want to come in here to check for a um, a resort key just there, and then we're going to head up. So this is probably the where you start getting to the issues where you're going to run into a lot more players from this point onwards. Um, there is a grenade box there if you're after grenades as well. So we're about to head up to the bus depot, but pretty much from this position onwards, uh, you're in the line of sight of the resort players that are going to be heading in and out of it and it's going to get pretty hectic so um i used to do a separate video when i did the map guide one for resort and one for shoreline but i'm going to do it all both together just so you guys can um follow me around and, and learn the map so this is the bus depot inside there is actually a lot of uh really cool barter trade items you can find and stuff like that um just on all these shelves plenty of fuel and stuff like that this map is actually pretty crazy for loot so all these shells can have fuel spawns in that. Offline mode has less chance of spawning stuff, by the way. And you get the cash register in the filing cabinets. Scavs usually do spawn here, so if you need to kill scavs, this is where you want to go. Inside the uh, the bus there, you can get a West 10. No, it's the West 112 key spawns inside there, off the top of my head. So 
if you want to check for the keys worn. Now, heading up to the resort. Um, oh, by the way, I missed it. Down at the pier, also Santa can spawn down there as well. Him and his two goons. So, now we're into the resort. Um, we're, Santa can also spawn. There is so much loot in here. So, I'm just going to show the primary loon, uh, rooms and, and things to watch out for. Um, we've got the shelf here that you should be checking. And then 104 and 107 are actually really good uh, rooms for... This one's got a blue key card spawn here, and you can have lead X's and meds. Um, coming down, I'm going to try my best to do it in order of the actual rooms. This is 112. Now, this uh, you'll need for a quest as well. So if you can get your hand on this, it's kind of good. Blue key card spawn down there. Quest item spawns in the fridge, and then you've got a couple of duffel bags. I'm going to head back down this way now so we don't miss anything. Now, I'm going to go straight to the third floor because it's actually blocked off. And you can't go the whole way down. But if you go down to the third floor, um, and I'll start there and, and make my way back. So, from 321, there's a safe, and it's a locked safe. You need the safe 321 key. There is a weapon case, a weapon box back there, and then you've got the weapon cabinet here. Um, moving down to the end room, there's the utility room here, which uses the utility key. It's actually a really good key to get. If you can get one cheap, you should. Because um, you've got the barter trade items there. You also have a, uh, a med bag out there if you're after meds. I'm not going to be able to cover all the loot in this, by the way, but I'm going to show you just some of the major rooms. Uh, utility room here as well. So the same key. Jacket and some more barter trade spawns. Now, 222, 221, and uh, 218 are all linked together. I think I've got 221. Now, this used to be one of the most prized rooms in the game. Um... You got good meds up here, and the red key card spawns on top of that barrel. There used to be gun spawns on there, but it's not so much anymore. You got the weapon cabinets, you got ammunition, you got food. Um, if you come around this way, there's an M4 spawn there, and there's more bags in here. It's just a really good room. Uh, from this side, 220, this is one of those golden rooms. So every time they say they're a golden room, it's bitcoins, rollers, lions, clocks, teapots, all that stuff, and they spawn over here. So where the raven is, uh, they all spawn there. You've got weapon crates and meds that spawn along there. Uh, 219 is uh, a quest room. You don't need the key for 219 because you can use the 220 key and run around the balcony for when you're on the quest because you just need to see the room. Um, but if you do want to go in there, there is a weapon crate and uh, weapon cabinet and some, some med spawns and stuff. Uh, the 216 is another one of those quest rooms. Um, this one is actually worth getting. Apparently, there's a lead X spawn. I haven't seen it myself, but Tetris's can spawn here. The quest item spawns in, the, in there. Um, and then you've got meds up here. Two grenade boxes, a bit of food and drink, and uh, some weapon boxes. Like I said, this this is a really nutty place to make, uh, to make money. All right, we're going to go down to 203, 205. Next, so 205, that's that door there. 203, they're linked together. Um... In this room, you've got meds here. You've got another red key card spawned down the bottom here. Uh, more meds and, and that. Lead X's can spawn on, on these spots here. And uh, you can... Where that MP5 mag is. There used to be an MP5 that spawns there. I don't know if it still does. We're going to head up to the third floor. Now, this is all the west wing, by the way. I should have been clear on that. West 306 is a quest room. Um... Or later on, you're going to need to get an item from here that spawns on the shelf just here. But there is a med box, an M4 spawns on the bed, and you've got the two scav bodies that you can loot. And then down here, um, West 301. This room is a uh, a really good loot, loot room for lead X's, so you can get lead X's and, and stuff on the floor. Um, and then plenty of meds and lead X's in here. You've got the packer, more meds on the bed, and two computers in there. Crazy stuff. All right. Um, now we're going to head just down nice and quick. Show you another red key card spawn. Whew. Now in this basement, so the red key card spawns here. But in this basement, there is like, I think, seven duffel bags. So if you're after just random items, duffel bags are really good. You go around uh, another duffel bag there. There's more on the left and right, and you go around to the pool. Um, just something to take note of. Heading up to the admin building. Um, there's a lot to cover. I'm trying not to... If you're following along, just pause it and have a listen and just and, and run around. But um, for the 
down here in the admin building, there is a Ledex spawn. And the admin building is very um, contested early on. There'll be a lot of players that will be coming up here. Um, down this side, if you if you want to go for filing cabinets, there's plenty of filing cabinets. There's a stack there and there. Um, and then coming around here, you can get AK spawns on these tables and, and around, as well as there's a key spawn right there. It's one of the West Wing keys, if I remember rightly. The only reason you'd go in here is there's a key spawn for East 107 on the uh, chair there. And then um, there's a heap of computers in this room, which can all have flash rods sticking out the front of, so you should be checking them. Down to this back room, you got a red key card spawn that's in the back here. Uh, and then Tetris's and graphics cards, and that can spawn all along here. Oh, I missed the safe on the other side too. So um, there's a safe here that you have to unlock. You need the uh, the safe key for it. There are the two safes. Um, whoops, that's a cottage safe one. So it's that one, which is the warehouse. So these two keys are the ones that unlock these two safes in the admin building. So there and on the other side. Uh, and by the outside, I mean the one with the fine cabinets down the end that I was talking about. Now, heading down this way onto the east wing side. Um, generally, people charge the east wing first if they had the choice because of just how much value there is there. So, this next key that I'm about to show is new to the game. It's the key with tape. Um, or tape key. And you'll notice it by 110 in the handprint there. It's only just been added to the game more recently. But inside here is pretty nuts. There's uh, lead X spawns on the ground and, and in here. And apparently there's another lead X spawn on the table outside here somewhere. So I've only found, I've found multiple of the ones inside. But yeah, you should be checking this room because it's, uh, it's still a very high valued room. Um, coming down to 107 now. Uh, this one has uh, lead X spawns inside here. So you'd be checking the shelves in here on the table. Got uh, med bags, two med bags, and then a duffel bag and some barter trade items. Rest of the bottom floor, you don't really need to stress too much about. Um, there are rooms with other, other loot in there, by the way. Like, for example, in here, you got a, a med bag. You don't have to get it, but it's there. Um, so 222 and 226 is probably the, the room that everyone charges the most. And the reason behind it is you can get graphics cards along the top there in Tetris's. Gold spawn right here. So that's all the gold loot that I was talking about earlier. Um, and then Ledex spawns and Ophthalmoscopes will spawn on this shelf here. And you can get multiple in the same raid. Um, you can get inside these weapon cabinets or stuff like DVLs and stuff. An MP5 spawns up the top there. You've got the grenade box and we'll move on. Um, as for the rest of this floor. Uh, whoop, I missed it. Inside here there is a red key card spawn. So there's five red key card spawns in total now. Another one right there. Um, so it's pretty nuts how... Uh, like how much value you can get from this. So this would be like, in my in my opinion, this would be the uh, the 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 map would probably have the most amount of money in it per run if you could get to there first, get to the loot and get out. Um, but it's just it's fairly contested these days, particularly with the scav boss bringing a lot more attention to the map. Uh, inside here you got meds. You can get an AK uh, S74UB up the top there with a suppressor on it. Another gold spawn in here. So inside that box, or oh, the drawer there, you can get uh, gold loot. This is 205, 206 East. So either of those keys. You want to check here for a key down the bottom. That's the utility key that spawns down there. And then you get the uh, 222 or 226 East key um, just there. Heading up to the top floor now. Uh, East 306, this is a quest room, but it's also got pretty good value in it. Um, coming in here, you'll check for gold chains on the bed and in the drawer. A DVL spawns up against that wall there. And then see these four computers. They have flash drives all the time. So um, we have the flash drive there. And then there's some med spawns and stuff on the other side there. Um, now, East 310 is another gold room. It used to be one of the best rooms in the game. Um, I don't know what happened to it. They just nerfed the hell out of it. Um, but on top of here, you can find gold chains... Look at this Bitcoin and a vase like that. I've got it. There's a clip somewhere of me finding three Bitcoins on this one table. Like that's the kind of stuff we used to find in there. So, um, I don't know which key I've got for this one. So I think it's 314 I've got. So 313 and 314 unlock to the same rooms. There's a Ledex spawn in here. So there's some barter trade items in the, in the cabinet on the left or the, sh there's, and there's the, uh, the weapon parts over here. But if you come around here, 
Um, on top of here is a lead X spawn, and then you've got the other stuff here. Uh, 316 is just all about weapon parts and a med bag. You used to be able to find thermal sites in here. I don't think you can anymore. So it's just the sites and suppressors that are main main focus, and then the med bag outside, and also you've got the uh, the two weapon crates there. Now. I don't find any good loot here anymore, but I have found a Bitcoin on the ground on the on the backside here. And they used to have a gold chain that spawned in his ear all the time, but I don't really find any good loot there anymore. This room, super underrated. Three, two, seven. Don't need a key for it. You come down here, you get heaps of barter trades on the shelves here. Duffel bag and a, and a med bag. I oh, always check that one. Um, now, East 328, or this door here, is the same as the far other end on the west wing being the utility key so just grab the utility key and don't worry about the 328 key you can get gold chains and and stuff on on that table there tetrises and uh lead x's on top of there and graphics cards as well and then yeah other random suppressors and sites along here really really good room all right what we're going to do now is we're going to head downstairs and um head out of the resort that covers pretty much the entirety of the resort there is, um, there is a few places I'll have to, like, cut to a bit later on just because it's going to be running simulator if we, uh, if we want to go show it all. So, I'm going to show the bunker, um, but probably not go to it, but I want to show the extract that's the main part. So, as you run out through the back of the resort, there is, um, what we call rock passage extract. Currently, it needs to have green smoke to extract, and you'll be able to see the dome, um, the dome from here as well so you see the dome up there and then see the green smoke underneath so you want to be on the right side of the water and you can head up there and you can extract uh sniper scav does sit on top of there and you can get up by jumping into the rocks and then you jump up uh on that side right there it takes a bit of practice but um you can definitely jump up there so if you do kill sniper scav you can get his gun and that but yeah the rock passage extract needs the the green smoke up um a lot of us really wish it was the Red Rebel um, to get out of there because the exact same uh, extract on reserve requires the Red Rebel extract with the paracord um, to go down. So I kind of we kind of wish it was you know you could do the same to go up uh, to leave the map. All right, so now that we're finished on that side of the map, um, that covers pretty much the entirety of the other side of the map. For this side of the map, there are spawns pretty much on the entire outside of the map so starting from back here um there's like a spawn down there and it goes all the way along the edge inside this house right here there is an a yes yeah, that's one house there inside that house right there there is uh an ak spawn and, and two or three weapon crates as well so if you're uh if you're going in a little bit budget but a lot of this area is very contested early on and um let's see if i can get down here without breaking everything Oh, we broke something. One sec. All right, so um, majority of this side of the map is just hidden stashes, and then there's the dome and the extract. So I'm pretty much just going to show you that now. Um, so reference the resort, which is up here. There's a couple of prominent features that you should be looking at um, to understand where you've got to go. So if you see that tower there, it's like a radio tower. Behind that is the road to customs extract, and we will show you that. And then you'll see that tower there. That's the dome. So um, what I'll do is I'll go the road customs and then I'll cut back across to the dome and show you um, both of those. So I'm pretty much just going to run a straight line past that tower and to the uh, road to customs extract to show you that now. So what I'll do is click my fingers and we'll zoom across there. All right. So now that we've gone past the radio tower and uh, I literally just ran in a straight line, um, road to customs right here. So this is the extract on the other side. And you can follow this road down and you'll see this tower here. Scavs do spawn at, at that tower later in the raid. So just be um, wary of that if you're running past that tower. Um, because they can be quite nasty, particularly later in the raid. Um, there are a couple of spawns. There's one back there and there's a couple of spawns down the, the, the length of this road. Um, so if you are just fumbling about for whatever reason early on in a raid in this area, just just be no. Let's just know the fact that you're probably going to get smacked pretty hard by uh by someone if you start shooting at someone and you hang or hang about you're going to run into the hurt locker so 
just be wary of that. Um, before I head up to the dome, I'm pretty much just going to run Pellerel to that road all the way down to the, um, to the CCP extract. That's the one. I called it RUAF, but I said it wasn't RUAF. Uh, it's CCP extract. So there are some hidden stashes. There's actually a lot of hidden stashes around this area. Um, if you want to check out that video, I'll make sure there's a, a link in the description below. But, um, yeah, it's one of those things that there is just... Do, 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 do. You got to be careful of that. So all that like sandy looking area is all landmines. So just stay away from that. There's um, some hidden stashes down that low ground. There's one over there and there's a couple down there. And then if you can see those towers up ahead, um, they're both the, uh, or both near the CCP extract. So right there is where you extract from the CCP if the light is on. So there'll, there'll be a couple of big light looking things. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it. Some reason, oh, see that light there? They'll be on. So that light there, and there'll be a couple of others that will be on. Um, you won't miss it. So down here is where I was talking about where there's that like compound where scavs can spawn in that. There's not really much else besides a couple of hidden stashes around this area and scavs that spawn down there. But if you are trying to get your scav kills, this isn't too bad a spot. Do you do the center line? So bus depot, um, power station, gas station, and then here. Or um, if you're, you know, going in the other way, then maybe not come by here on the way out because it'll be the opposite direction. All right, we're going to run in a straight line. Pretty much in this direction, it's it's hard for me to show you through the trees, but um, I'm pretty much running directly at the dome right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run in the straight line now. You can see the top of the dome right there, and then um, I'll show you around the dome. And that'll be pretty much it. So let's get into it. All right, so we are coming up to the dome now. The thing about the dome to me, or what I don't know what you I call I'm calling this the dome, but the what is this called? Radar tower? Radar station? Anyway. The thing about this area is... Um, I don't like it. Personally, I actually absolutely hate it. Because people will camp inside here and just wait for you to come in. And you you, you don't have any good angles going in. On top of that, there are um, tasks where you got to like run up to these or plant stuff on them. And then if you go at the top of here, you can go all the way to the very top. You can have angles on people down below and that. It's just a really shitty place to be hanging out. Um, you get camped really a lot here. Um, as for inside, duffel bag and uh, some, some food spawns inside here. On this side, you've got the uh, food and drink on the table and the med bag. And then coming up, there's a heap of filing cabinets. You've got the three filing cabinets. You can get some loose spawns down the bottom and at the top. Safe computer. And then uh, you can go out onto the roof if you want. As for inside there, there is a uh, grenade box and a key that spawns up there. I think it's the safe 321 key. And you have a weapon crate there and on the other side of it too. So that is pretty much the majority of the map. Um, I I don't want to give you like every single little tiny detail because it'd be like a three hour long video. But I want to try and make it that if you were new to this map, you'd actually get a good understanding of the where it is, what everything is and what's at each location. As well as um, if you've, you know, been playing a little while and you just want to increase your knowledge base of what's where and how to get around. Um, I'll make sure there's links down below also to the key guides, the stash guides, and all that stuff. So at least you know where all the key spawns and the hidden stashes spawn. Uh, and yeah, just be careful of Sanitar. He's actually really brutal. Long range VSS sniping he does. Uh, it's the very shitty sniper that just seems to decimate. So um, yep, that's pretty much it for the run through as I see it. So guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, smash the share like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help out. Uh, liking, comments, all that stuff helps with the discoverability of videos. And you guys are amazing at um, what you do. So thanks so much for all the help and support you guys give me and my, and my community. Uh, on top of that, um, subscribe and notification bell if you want to keep to the most up-to-date information for um, Tarkov. And I do some other content these days. But if you're interested, feel free. Uh, I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go down the link below. Give me a follow over there. And uh, lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.